Well, this is our Wednesday Wisdom. We have a different format this week. We are doing a Zoom format to give you a preview of our course, our SAX Modifications course, which is tomorrow, October 7th. Uh, Ryan is here. He's going to take us through this course. This is also the first official week of Padtober. And Padtober is going to feature a bunch of different pads and giveaways of all sorts of pad type stuff. This week's giveaway is going to be for a set of tan saxophone pads from Music Medic. You can choose any pad type that we make here, uh, any resonator type that we have in stock, and any size of saxophone for your pad set. So uh, take that hashtag Padtober, put it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. That really helps the streaming uh, funding that we have for uh, for all of this content here that we do at Music Medic. Um, but when you put that Padtober uh, hashtag into the comments, we're going to do a drawing this Friday when we uh, play our most rarest of Selmers that we have here at Music Medic, the Dorsey Alto. Um, and our good friend, uh, Benny Hill, is going to be here to play that for you. So take hashtag Padtober, put it in the comments below, and we'll enter you into the drawing and, and um, select the winner on Friday. I also wanted to say thank you to Timo uh, Milamaki. He won. He's the Finnish repair uh, and he won last week. So thank you. And he got a set of custom key risers uh, for, for Sax Timber. And now we're on the pad till where we're giving away some pad sets for you guys. We are going to take you through um, Ryan Sax modifications course. We also have a flute padding course with Scott Mandeville coming up on Friday and you can receive 10% off the tuition for these courses if you sign up through uh, the musicmedic.com newsletter. If you're not signed up for that, because we're on YouTube, go to musicmedic.com in the bottom right-hand corner of the news uh, of the homepage is to sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for it, get the newsletter, and you can receive 10% off the course. Um, and now, Ryan, your modifications course is a day course, so it's only uh, just a one certain day. number. One day certain number okay. of hours. And uh, so you don't have to have a big time commitment for this. And this is also something you'll be able to watch. Uh, it's recorded to be able to watch it on your own time as well. We'll talk more about that um, when Ryan goes over his course. And Ryan, I, I think it's fair to say that you, the, the Sax Pro Shop at Music Medic uh, fair and respectfully say uh, mm -hmm. that you guys do the most saxophone mods, the most modifications of any shop anywhere in the world. Um, you know, anyone who's not a manufacturer, mm -hmm. you guys are doing the most work on modifying saxophones uh, we, out there. We are, yes. Yeah, like you said, respectfully. We are. <laughs> yeah, I, I would compare it if we were working on cars, we would be like a hot rod shop. You know, where we're souping things up and, you know, adding this and taking away this and, you know, flames, or bad flames and pinstripes everywhere. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. Very so, cool. Yeah. We, we'll, yep. So we do quite a bit of modifications and basically, yeah, it's, it's one of those that we kind of elevate the playing of the saxophone by adding these modifications to it. So why don't you take us through your saxophone modifications course? Like if I'm a technician... And I want to see what, you know, mods I can do to kind of increase revenue in the shop, uh, what I can do to add, you know, some goodies to overhauls. What are they going to get? Uh, and what are the, some of the things that they're going to, you're going to go over in the course tomorrow? Uh, a little bit of everything. So here I'm going to share my screen. This is, you can see, first off my desktop, um, you can see all of the different uh, you know, categories of modifications. And I do have them grouped. I have my, my, modification course outline, but you can see we got adjustment screws, um, you know, con octave style, changing it into Selmer octave style, F sharp arm bar, front F, key contacts, key guards, left hand table mods, mouthpiece light plates, mouthpiece extension. I mean, all kinds of wow stuff. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to share a little bit here. We're going to go over, we're going to take a look at key contacts. I think I just sure. counted like 22 different mods. There, there, is, there is quite a bit. Yeah, if I had wow. to in fact, let me, let me, let me, I don't know if I can do this, get info. Let me see how, how many <laughs> pictures I have. I have uh, 582 pictures that we're going to be going over a uh, slideshow of different modifications that we've done in the course. But here, there's just a few. This is not 582 right now. This sure. Is just a few. This is 20, 20 total pictures. Okay. Uh, it's not, it's not that bad, but this is, um, you know, key contacts. 
So you can see here, what we have is, this is the uh, side keys of a Mark VI tenor. Um, so you can see the original side E contact, but you can see no side C and no side B flat. And if we go to the next picture, boom, there they are. Okay, very right on, that's very side pretty B flat. looking. We'll talk about, yeah, talk about the concepts of, you know, what a key contact does, side C contacts, you know, side B flat contacts versus a G contact, which acts just a little differently. And I do have some pictures in here of a G contact. There you go right there. So that's a picture of a G key contact. I believe this was on a, maybe on a, uh, either a tenor or a bass. I can't, um, tenor or a berry. Um, but you can see the G contact and you can see actually here as well. This is definitely a berry. You have a G contact and then you also have a B contact as well. Um, you know, I'll talk about those, the difference between how a C contact acts versus a G or a B contact. Uh, so we're going to go over all those, all those fun stuff. If I could just list off a few from my outline here. Uh, okay. Of different types of modifications. We got uh, modifications that deal with durability. Uh, we have modifications that deal with mechanical side of it, like adjustment screws or, or adding extra keys like a front F. Uh, we have some comfort and ergonomic modifications, key contacts. Um, you know, risers, um, you know, things like that. We have intonation and tone modification, uh, doing things like adding something called a Clyde the Glide. I want to talk oh, about Oh, yeah. They got, to sign up. they got to sign up for the course to know exactly what it is. Otherwise, it means nothing to them. Um, <laughs> so we got tone, tone and intonation. Then we have beautification, so doing all kinds of beautification things, making the saxophone look nice. Very like cool. So, if yeah, and you can see. You can see my, my, my outline here. Pictures. There's a crossword on it. No, there's not a crossword, but the, the participants will be receiving a copy of this. Uh, we're going to go over that. So that's the first part of the, the day for the, for the modifications course. The second part is where I deal with this guy right here. So what we're going to be doing live or what I'm going to be doing live is I'm going to be replacing these noisy side key contacts or side key mechanisms, these ball connections. Right. They're very noisy and very loud uh, on a Mark VI with traditional fork connector. So you're going to show them how to remove the balls and then replace them with the, uh, the forks. Correct. Yeah. In fact, not only am I going to show them, I'm going to do it on this oh. live. Yep. Whoa. So you guys will see. Okay. You guys will, yeah. You guys will get to see all those fun stuff. Oh, there I am. Um, so yeah, you get to follow along and see the whole process. Uh, I'm going to go over all the tools and machinery that I use here in the shop. Uh, it's going to be a fun, fun time. Do they need any uh, prior skills to take the course? I know that this is a course that maybe professional technicians would take, but here we are on YouTube. There's a lot of amateur technicians, uh, do it yourselfers. Is this a course that somebody like that could get something out of? What do you think? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it is geared towards the more advanced techs uh, that would be able to do this in their shop, you know, do different types of modifications. But it is a lot of good information, you know, for just regular players or even beginning techs to know kind of what's involved with, you know, high-end saxophone repair, doing modifications on it. And if you're a player, uh, means there's something you can, you know, make note of. And any of these that you have maybe a horn that you need modifications done to, you can talk to your repair tech about it. Uh, cool. And do they need any, uh, are the professional technicians or the amateur technicians, are they going to need prior skills for taking the course? Not necessarily. Um, you know, anybody can follow along, even if you have no, no prior experience, but if you want to do a lot of these, you're going to have to have some kind of prior repair experience. Okay. What about tools? Do they need to order special tools? Not necessarily. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff that I'll, I'll, I'll go over here in the shop is kind of, you know, uh, we're lucky, uh, you know, having things like a mill, uh, a lathe, you know, a soldering station, all the different equipment. So uh, if they take the course, they don't necessarily have to have them, but I will show them, uh, you know, what, what types of equipment they would need to have in order to do these modifications. Okay. And a lot of shops have a, like a mini lathe or they might have a mini mill as well. Yep. So you can see, well, for, there it is right behind me, this guy right here. This is one of the, the pieces of equipment that I like to use. And that's just the bench it's top lathe, lathe, right? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Um, okay, cool. And so they're going to get, uh, 
they're going to get information on all of the different mods that are possible. They're also going to get like a, kind of like a hard copy outline from yep. you of the different mm -hmm. types of techniques they can use. Yep, uh, absolutely. Cool. And then um, just Ryan, when is this course again? It is tomorrow. <laughs> so sign up now. <laughs> Quickly, okay. hurry. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. And then, you know, just for those of you who are watching, uh, everything that we said about Ryan's course tomorrow on October 7 applies to Scott Mandeville's course on October 8th. So if you sign up through the newsletter, you're going to get a 10% discount on tuition for the course, either one. And then if you say you don't have time to take the course um, tomorrow because you've got to work, uh, but you have the weekend off, we are going to, are they going to be able to watch the course? Say they sign up for it. Um, will they be able to watch it at a later time? Yeah, we do provide a recording. We'll record the major portions of the, of the actual course, and then we provide the, the participants with a uh, cloud, a link to a cloud recording, and it's available 30 days after the completion of the course. So yeah, you okay. can go back and go back and review it. Cool. So they won't. They might not be able to, to ask a question live, but certainly they could right. send you an email later yep. if, they, if, they, yep. if you go over Absolutely. something. Cool. So if you guys sign up and get a discount on the course. Uh, that discount is going to be good up until the today for Ryan's course and then up until the end of the day, Thursday, for Scott's course. You can sign up for them at musicmedic.com in the education section. Um, and like I said, if you don't have time, you can always sign up and we will make sure you get the copy of the course so that you can watch at your convenience. Um, okay, cool. Ryan, thank you so much for taking us through that. This is awesome.